here's a confusing thought. I'm now going further south, as south as you can go in America, and yet I'm leaving the true south behind me. first visit to Miami and I have to say um, the word hole is certainly close to my lips here. It's not my kind of city. It's hot. It's got palm trees. I'm sure it must have a heart and a soul and a meaning and a kind of delightful center or something but I've yet to find it. It's just horrible, horrible concrete buildings. There is another city, which is not Miami, but Miami Beach. And it's a strip of glamorous beach. And maybe it's not quite as revolting. The thing is, all seaside places are the same, because there's beach on one side, and then there's a strip of places with seafood restaurants and bars. Um, these are deco, and, and deco is a style I like very much. This part of Miami Beach is a Neapolitan ice cream, really. It has that feeling of being designed as a holiday paradise, and indeed all the dreary things that go with the word paradise, like palm trees and huge cut-out parrots that promise so much and deliver so staggeringly little. And attractive people. Attractive people who are very fit and very beautiful and instantly, therefore, look quite staggeringly ugly as a result. This is one of the great jokes that nature plays on the beautiful. I would rather be curled up in a snowy cabin, sipping a warm whiskey or, a, frankly, a mug of Horlicks than I would spend half an hour in this rotting place. It is like the North, less friendly. So, although we're further south than Georgia, we're a lot further north culturally and spiritually. <laughs> 